Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to update information in a MySQL database through using PHP. So we will learn how to change data in the database. We'll look at how to get information from the database and display it into a form. And then be able to make changes to that and use the update command to save the changes back out to the database. So in order to do that, we're going to be working with the update command. And uh, one thing to remember with the update command is that if you don't specify a WHERE clause, then you'll change all rows that will be updated in the table. So make sure you include a WHERE clause. There's also no way to update multiple rows with different data. So that would require doing different update statements to do different values. And you can update more than one field at a time, but just not multiple rows with different data. So in general, the way we update data through using PHP is to make a connection to the database create a safe query with the SQL command and then run the query. And that's the general way, but here is the real way. All right, the real way is we need to get the primary key of the record that we want to update. Then we make a connection to the database. Then we create our safe query to find the matching record. We execute the query we get the result back into a form, then the user updates it and submits the changes, then we connect to the database again and create a safe query that executes an SQL command that will update the matching record. So updating is probably the more complex of all of them because we've done showing the contacts, which is uh, reading the information, adding contacts, which stored it in there, deleting a contact, and then searching for contacts. So now updating is the last thing in our list. So here's how our scripts will work. So from the show contacts PHP page, we have, we're showing each of the contacts with delete and edit buttons. So when the user clicks the edit button next to a name, it's going to send the ID to update form PHP. And update form is going to be set up so that we get that ID, go to the database, find the record that matches the button that was clicked, and get the values out of the table and put them into our form. And then this will allow us to be able to go in, make changes in the form, and then when we click Modify Record, Modify Record is going to send all this information to Update PHP. Update PHP is going to save the changes to the database, and then display a confirmation of what our new record looks like. So a lot going on in this, so we'll, we'll build through it step by step. So show contacts, as I said, is the first place where this is going to begin. So let's look at the show contacts PHP script. And in order to get that button, right, we have a button up here for delete, and then this is our update button. So when the user clicks the update form, or the update button, sorry, uh, it's going to pass a hidden form field called SEL record and the ID number. Just like we've done in the other example when we did delete. So we passed SEL record and the number to update form. So update form is going to get the ID of the record that we need to update. So let's go to update form. 
Now you have a basic starter file to begin with, uh, but we're going to start up here where we make the database connection information. We get the value that's passed in, which is the ID, and we're calling it SEL record. And then we generate our query, select everything from contacts where the ID matches the value that was submitted. Then we connect to the database, and you can copy this from uh, your existing confirm delete PHP script, or if you don't have it, you can uh, type it in from there. So if the query executes, if it connects to the database and executes the query, then we get the values. We loop through and get the values and assign them to our variables. There's more to this script, so I have it broken out onto another slide. Right, so this is the update form part, and so the form looks just like our add form because it's the same form fields and information. The only difference is now we're getting the value from our, our database table and putting them into the values. So you can see here value equals email first last phone. So from here we get the variables from our database query and then we're putting them into our update form. So the user will come in here, make their change. Again, this is the part where they're at. They're in here making the change. And then when they hit the submit button or the modify record, it says modify record on here, but it's the submit button. It's also gonna pass along the ID, right? Our unique identifier, our primary key because on our form we don't see the primary key here. We don't want the user to be able to change it or try to change it, which would cause some problems. Now if we wanted to display it, we could display it as, as text and not in a form here, but uh, we have it in the form as a hidden form field. So the user makes their changes in here, clicks modify record, so it passes all of this information regardless of whether there was a change or not. That was the a confusing thing to some people is, well, how do we know whether we should update email if it didn't change? Or how do we know we should update the phone number if it didn't change? We're not worried about it. We're just taking everything and resaving it again into the same record in our database. So we're, we're resaving everything again. So this information gets passed to update, and let's look at update. So update is getting the information submitted by the form, and again, we use this in the add PHP script if it's easier for you to go in and find it and paste it in. So we're cleaning the data coming in, although the, um, the filter var for ID was not in the add script, so you will need to add that part in. So we're getting all the, the clean data filtered in, and then we are going to, we have a query that we're going to execute to update contacts, set, and then we're setting email to the variable for email, first to first, last, phone, where ID equals ID. Remember, don't forget the where part because otherwise it's gonna change everything in contacts. So it's going to find the matching ID and resave all this information from the form into that specific record in the table. So just a little closer look at that query. One thing I wanna note that happens a lot is you can see, like this could all be on one long line, but I find it easier to break them down on separate lines for readability, so I can quickly just go down and see what's being changed, but you could have it extended out onto a long line. Uh, but as I said, there's uh, something that causes an error for a lot of people. Notice that between email, 
we have a comma then it goes to first comma last comma phone there's no comma after this last one because we don't have another variable in here or another field that we're changing so there's no comma here before the where and a lot of people put that comma in there because they did it for all the other ones but this one doesn't get a comma so if you get an error when you're trying to run it it could be that maybe you put that in there from a copy and paste so after we have that then we're going to execute the query and if it is able to execute then we're going to show a confirmation that displays the information for the new record and otherwise will display an error message saying something went wrong and then exit out of the script. So that's an overview of how to update an existing record in PHP and MySQL.